Well guys, uh, here we go, we're going to be leaving the house in about 10 minutes, but it's finally come, first day at school. Okay, so it's everyone here. This is my housemate, everyone say hello. Hello! <laughs> first day of med school, it's it down. We're back. Well, there we go. That's gone by very, very quickly, yep, but that's yep. the first day at med school. That was it. Yep. You know what, Ollie? It was really boring. <laughs> it's a lot of, uh, a lot of introductory Admin. stuff. Yeah, yeah. But there's all our cohort behind us. Say hi, guys. <laughs> They're not listening. They'll never find out about this vlog. <laughs> we'll keep it secret. All right, guys. See you at home. Bye. Guys, I'm so, so tired. Um, I've just returned from uh, the night out of our first day, and between like being back in uni for a whole day, nine to five again, and then uh, having this night out on top of that, I, I've spoken to a lot of people tonight, and I think we're all feeling the same way. For some reason, we are absolutely shattered. But crucially, not shattered enough to not take you through what I've done today. We got given these really cool bags. Look at these. I will unbag one of these for you in a sec. So shall we take a look at what we have? Um, go first off, we got some lovely dividers, wonderful. This was just provided um, when we got there. That looks like a document wallet. Very good. Um, got multiple things. Warwick Student Budget Calculator. Is this an app? Alright, useful for budgeting. Cool. Um, how's med school? Can we help you? Oh, this sort of comes away. Achieving good medical practice with the GMC. Okay, so this seems to be sort of survival tips for, I guess, achieving good medical practice. We have a... Worrying about money card, is this about funding? Yeah, okay, so this is another advertisement for the budget calculator. Uh, welcome to Medicine 2017, win an iPad Pro to help you in your studies. That's quite good. Getting the most out of your time at medical school, what does this have in? Um, okay, so work-life balance, be honest and open. Lots of useful things, I shall have to read this. Thing for IT services, beautiful. We have a power bank. <laughs> Very good. Branded with MBCHB 2017. Have a look at this. I like power banks. They're always pretty useful. What's the capacity? And it's got a rubber sticky thing on it. Oh. Well, I don't know. I suppose they're not designed to stick to skin. Um, that doesn't look quite right. Is this? Oh, it's on. Kind of wonky. There we go. Uh, what's the capacity? 2200 milliamp hours, nice. That is useful. I shall put that in my bag. And lastly, so that is now empty. We have, oh actually, these are discrete things. So this is uh, the outline of the course. I will go into this in more detail another time, but it's basically a sort of advanced timetable. Have a reminder for the welcome ball. I actually need to pick up my ticket. I reserved one, but I need to pick it up tomorrow morning. Uh, 25 pounds, three course dinner and wine, black tie event. There's my actual uh, learning medicine week, which is the first week uh, timetable. So this is what I've done today. Tomorrow morning, cell and tissue biomedicine, wonderful. And we're also given this to do. I'm just uh, covering up my tutor's details. So we had an introductory case-based learning session. If I just flip this over, where well, we had to fill out this questionnaire. So you can see this is asking us some things about the ways in which we like to learn. And then we had to sort of fill out this, um, this form here. And then it translated onto these axes. So it shows you uh, according to these kind of traits, where you fall on these scales. Um, so that's sort of active or reflective learning, for example. And then we use these uh, to talk 
in our introductory session about the ways that we might approach doing our group-based sessions so that we all learn optimally. I've just had to come into my lovely little ensuite room with its perfect acoustics to show you this. You have to wear these rather spiffy t-shirts uh, for going out tonight, but if I can contort myself in the mirror to show you this design, I'm not trained for this, that'll do. And there was, of course, a bag of freebies. There were loads of stalls set up in the medical common room um, this afternoon when we went in. Actually, it was before lunch, so it would have been this morning. But there's an absolute ton of stuff in here. Uh, we have a lovely uh, BMA uh, coffee mug thing. Uh, a copy of the student British Medical Journal, which I shall have to read. That all looks very deeply exciting. What else do we have? Oh, that shouldn't have been folded really. I think that's, well, that's my, that was my timetable for today, which I will talk through in a minute. This, I think, is an expanded uh, sort of calendar. Yes, look at that. Um, so that's the 2nd of October. Is this this week? Uh, yes. I think this only covers the first few weeks, though, and it's very generalistic, so I will need my specific timetable. Whoa. This has got more caught. Um, a document wallet. Uh, let's actually have a look in here, because I think it has some interesting things. Um, what have we got? A year one exam revision offer from the BMJ, and that's the BMA library. This I was very interested in. We can use this voucher to receive a discount on a stethoscope. Uh, the Littman Classic 3 is actually the one I want, so this is what I will be using. Now, we all love a syringe pen, don't we? And what is this? A freshers joining thing. Ways to generate extra cash while studying. That is actually something that I will want to look into. What else do we have? Oh, a lovely, lovely lanyard. So I guess this is to hold our student cards, which I will put mine into. More things. Um, what are you? Would you like to contribute to how NHS services are delivered in the future? This is actually a form to join the South Warwickshire Trust, which I need to do. Uh, academic procedures at the university, which again, I need to actually give these a proper read. But there is more. Nightline, picked up a Nightline card because I was a coordinator at Newcastle, so I'm always interested in how they are running. Um, selected chapters from the Oxford Handbook of Clinical Examination and Practical Skills. This, uh, the, the next few things were given out for signing up to uh, indemnity organisations, which we were advised to do. So we've got this one. And we also got this bad boy, <laughs> the Oxford Concise Medical Dictionary. There's more stuff in here, I can feel. What's this? It's a small BMA bear, but it's alright. It won't replace the duck. And uh, that was a tear-off from a slip I filled in. Um, oh, this is about course reps, student staff liaison committees. I did this at Newcastle uh, for my course. I think I did it in first year, but I've definitely done it. And that ladies and gentlemen, is an empty bag. So I'm going to have to do the remainder uh, like this, I'm afraid. Just I don't have my full filming setup. I do have one light uh, set up to this side of me, and in trying to assemble it, I actually smashed one of my uh, big photography bulbs, which makes me very sad. But today has honestly been such a rush, like from start to finish. It's been really, really cool. You know, it went as well as I could hope for. The weather, as you saw, was really, really rainy in the morning. But it was mainly just introductory um, stuff from everyone. It was quite similar, actually, to what we've seen uh, at the Offer Holders Day. But I've just actually got my timetable for the day here, just so I can see. So in the morning, we had a welcome from uh, the Pro Dean. After that, we were spoken to by um, Professor Colin McDougall, who, uh, if I'm thinking correctly, is the man that's in most of the Warwick videos. He's certainly in the one that talks about the MBCHB programme. 
And then following that, we had an introduction with Dr. Anne Green, who is the phase one academic lead. And this was talking about the structure of, um, of year one, basically. So it's divided into uh, kind of science blocks with a particular topic that runs throughout each block. And then the topics that we're covering in our academic lectures are actually featured in the case-based learning as well and in our clinical skills. So I really like the sound of this very integrated way of teaching. Uh, then we had a talk about the library facilities and they have this really cool thing. What it allows you to do is if you don't have access to a particular paper um, that the university, if the university doesn't subscribe to the journal but you need a particular paper, the university is part of a consortium um, of uni so you can share papers which I think is so so useful. So then in the afternoon following that after lunch we went to meet our case based learning groups who are our tutor groups and uh, our tutor was also there. My group seemed really really nice, everyone seems really cool and we were given a sample case uh, to work through and kind of come up with um, the best situational judgement uh, that we could for that particular case and there was a lot of discussion um, we didn't all agree immediately and people brought some really really good ideas to the table and everyone had a different degree background there were eight of us um, one guy had I think he did a history degree most people were some sort of science but it was all different sciences as well so I think everyone could bring something completely different to the table I think it's a really promising start my tutor seems really nice as well. Truth be told, I couldn't have really asked for a better first day at medical school, uh, besides the weather, obviously. Um, what I have realised is that word is starting to get round a little bit. People are aware that I'm doing this vlog thing, and uh, that wasn't the plan. I don't know what I thought, that I was somehow going to keep it secret from everyone for four years, but both at the event last night and the event that I've been at tonight, People have made reference to it and they're aware that that's a thing that's happening. But if anything, that's a chance to get more people in on it, which I think would be really useful for you guys. Something that actually also really um, surprised me was we had a talk from um, a careers consultant uh, brought in to assist medical students with applying for, I think, like foundation training posts. And she did a survey of the room uh, to see whether people knew what sort of doctor they wanted to be at this stage and it was basically just about making sure we take any opportunities that we can get um, things like doing apparently there are summer research placements available which I'd really really like to do I actually want to see if Warwick are running an iGEM team uh, I guess I'd be overgrad now um, but I do want to investigate that because I want to be using the summer particularly with this long contract on the house that I'm staying in I think it would be a really good opportunity but as I was saying, she did this um, survey of the room to see if people knew what sort of specialty areas. So it was like general medicine, uh, general surgery, psychiatry, and I think general practice were the four options. And so, so many people, like the vast majority were general medicine. So I suppose in this case, that's going to refer to internal medicine uh, specialties. Um, I myself, and I'm not sure it's it's something I've really talked about here before, but I'm quite interested in surgery. I at least want to try and experience a lot more of it than I have right now. And there were very, very few people in the room um, that put their hands up as interested, maybe about an eighth of the room, maybe even less than that. Uh, a few for psychiatry, but by far, uh, general medicine was the most popular. The GP was not uh, as popular as I thought either. So I thought that was really, really interesting to see the spread of interest in the room. So that is where I'm going to wrap up for this video, guys. I'm not going to be vlogging uh, every day, obviously, because it makes me look like a tool. And um, it's actually quite time intensive. It took me about an hour to do the one last night when I was very tired and wanted to go to sleep. And I want to go to sleep tonight. But I will get this one done. Um, you might hear from me mid... I'll be still be doing my, my blog, like the written blog, every single day. The vlogs will be less frequent, but every time something interesting happens, I'll do one at the end of the week just to have a wrap up. But that's where I'm going to leave this one for now because I really need to go to sleep for our start tomorrow. Take care, guys. I'll see you another time.